It's happening again. It's kind of like Groundhog Day around here. Same old thing every day. You know, we first got the fifth wheel. I thought we'd be traveling a lot more, but you have to make compromises when you have a family. Daughter has high school, needs to stay in the same school for longer periods of time than I anticipated. Didn't know how that was all gonna work out. It's all a learning experience. Even two years in, it's still a learning experience. We hit the road, it was exciting. I thought every three months, maybe every six months, we travel to new campgrounds, see new things, see new cities. And it's exciting doing that. But the longer we do this, the longer we're in RV life, the more things have evolved. Yeah, I thought Maddie would be able to go to a couple schools a year and be happy. Maybe she'd do online stuff. Just hasn't worked out like that. So we're gonna be in campgrounds at longer periods of time than I anticipated. It's kind of a bummer, but that's part of RV life. You're always adapting. So I have to reimagine this whole RV life thing. We're still gonna live in the RV. We're still gonna keep traveling and moving every six to nine months, but I gotta keep do something to keep it a little bit more exciting. And I think I might have a solution. So I'm gonna go over it with you today. We have the Subaru, it's been on a lease and lease is about to come up. I have the option of either going to get another Subi or just getting a loan to pay this guy off, which costs more than my lease. That's not even the issue because I love that car. It's a great car. Or we sell it and go a different route. I We need to get out more often, so I was thinking about doing some more tent camping. I've been once in my life. What do I know about tent camping, though? But, you know, that way we could get to new areas, stay for days at a time. It just seems like a process but I've seen a lot of Subaru owners do this car camping thing. It's trendy, I don't know, maybe. Let's take a look and see what you think. You know, there is a lot of room in these Subarus. You open it up a little bit. You know, I thought about maybe we put like a uh, mattress topper in the back of the Subaru and can camp out of it. Maybe kind of back it, maybe kind of back it up to a, uh, into like my big tent I got. Oh, I haven't even gotten back here yet before making the video to see how much room there was. Let's see. So if I did have like a mattress pad, I wouldn't even be able to sit up all the way like this. This is me sitting flat all the way down. So imagine a mattress pad, it's going to be more like that. You know, I could, I can lay all the way out here. There is enough room. You know, my feet are right at the end and I'm still not to the back here. You can make this work, but geez. This car's worth $30,000 right now. It's a 2022 with about 20,000 miles on it. I just don't get it. These people, they spend a fortune buying these Subarus and building them out into campers. And I mean, I could technically sleep in here and put a pad in here and we can make it happen. We could do it. But kind of it doesn't seem very convenient. You know, can't even sit up in there. It'd be okay for a one night thing or something, but certainly not going to be able to work for all three of us. I like, it looks cool on TV. It looks cool on Instagram, but I don't think it's going to work for us too well. I only owe about 20 on it. I don't know if it's worth keeping, to be honest with you. Love the car. It's been great in all the bad storms, 40 degrees below zero. This car remote started. No issues. I mean, that's worth a lot to you. The other idea is a truck camper. We sell this car and we buy a pickup truck like mine, but gas powered because diesels are a pain in the ass in the freezing cold. But we could buy a truck like mine and get a truck camper for it. And then we can get out on the weekends and still go explore. Stay out for two, three days at a time. And, you know, my wife would use the truck when we get into towns to get to work and all that. But at that point, I think when we get into town and get to a new campground, get the RV situated, because I want to tow it with this beast, then I could take truck camper, put it on back here, and her truck would be free and clear. Just got to get out more. Got to go see more stuff. You know, it's so easy, even in RV life, to get into a routine. Just go to work, come home, watch TV. It's easy to forget why you did this in the first place. I'm not rich. It's gonna cost a good amount of our savings to make it happen and I'll probably do a budget one. But I just started thinking, you know, if I did have a truck camper, that if I wanted to go boondocking, which I can't really do in our current situation with this guy, cause it's so big if you wanted to go down trails, if you want to do a solar system, it'd cost so much money. But a truck camper, it's a lot smaller and get a lot more places. 
solar, you know, maybe a little 600 watt system, couple hundred amp hour batteries, lithium batteries, and you'd be able to stay out for a while. And there'd be enough room up top for me and Jen to have a bed. Couch turns into a bed for Maddie only a couple days at a time. Have a shower. Have uh, have everything we have here just on a smaller scale. We could go head out to Cody, even stay in the campground. Or we could go stay up on BLM land for a weekend. I don't know. I, I, I feel like this was a good step down from a house. And I don't want to get rid of it. I want to keep living in it. Because I'm not ready to go that rural yet. But... A Trent camper, I feel like it'd make things exciting again. We'd be able to get out and explore, see new things, kind of catch that magic. Somehow we've kind of lost. A couple years in this guy, a couple new towns. It just, uh, it's still fun going to those new towns, but I need that newness a little more often. I gotta get out places. I gotta get away from these RV parks once in a while. I wanna get out in the middle of desolation, out in the middle of nowhere. I just wanna wake up in the morning, see the sun come up. I want to go to sleep at night, watch the sun go down. I want to go outside, see stars. There's a lot of stars here too. It's not bad, but I, I want to do it out in the mountains, out in the desert. You know, I want to smell that fresh air. I want a barbecue out there and cook some burgers and cook some steaks, have a campfire, not a campfire when I'm looking into other RVs. I don't mind the RV life. I don't mind campgrounds. You know, it's it's exciting. All the new people you see coming through and everything. That's not the issue. But I do, I still have to get out. So, I don't know if I'm being picky about this. I don't know if I'm being ridiculous about this. Maybe this will come and go and I'll just forget about it. It was just a dumb idea. But when we chose to start our RV life, it was to get that boondocking experience. To get out in the woods. To get out in the middle of a desert up on top of a mountain, you know, and get completely away from civilization once in a while at least. So, I don't know. You hear that? It's part of the small town stuff. We got air raid siren goes off whenever they need the firefighters to come in. I don't know what's wrong with using a cell phone, but, you know, that's part of the small town vibe that I love, you know, the type of stuff that we're experiencing now, just going to these different small towns. That's cool. That's a big important part too. But it's funny, this just pops up. But I still need to get out in the woods. I still need to get out of town. I still need to get out in the middle of nowhere. Find my soul, you know? Got my own issues. I just, I need to find some peace and I think that's the only place I can do it. We'll see. What do you think? Um... If any of you kind of gotten that stagnant feeling in RV life, like you've been out long enough and it just kind of lost its magic a little bit, it's time to reimagine how you do it. Can I reignite that fire again? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. it. Might come up in the next couple months. I'm kind of going through that train of thought right now. So we got to do something with that. Either we keep it or we get rid of it. And if we get rid of it, what are we going to do? So. Let me know in the comments what you think, if y'all have hit the same little rut in the road. I appreciate you watching. If you could give me a like, that would be awesome. Helps me out. And subscribe if you want to see more content. We are a travel family. My wife's a nurse, and we go somewhere new every six to nine months. I'm trying to go somewhere new a little bit more often, as you've seen in this episode. So, Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.